Today we will discuss the TAS Biomedical Terminology Annotation 2202164 and we got 10 questions in the uh, training. So let's start the practice and let and learn about this task. So we got two hours for this task. So the first term is neutrophila. You can see uh, this right here. So what we need to do? Uh, the first question is it a biomedical term? So yes, it is a biomedical term. The second question they ask is the term accurately identified? So no, the term is not accurately identified. For this, you have to scroll down and right here uh, the highlighted term we will select tissue neutrophila which is the correct word and we will uh, copy this tissue neutrophila copy and we will paste right here then the next question is please select the semantic type of the term in context so here when you read these instruction you will find that it is sign and separate under the disorder we will select the option sign symptom or finding scroll down to the next and here the term is band so what is band for this with the, again the same question is repeated is it biomedical term so yes it is a biomedical term the second question is the term accurately identified so no again it is not accurately identified for this we have to scroll down and find the highlighted term which is positive lips band tester so we will select positive lips band test it is the exact version of this term so for this we have to paste in the box and again scroll down to the bottom and here under the uh, genes are genome we will select chemical or drugs so here you have to select chemical or drug scroll down to the next the third one which is calcium carbonate so calcium carbonate again it is a biomedical term but it is not the term accurately identified to so select no and here uh, we will select calcium carbonate chemic particle calcium carbonate chemic particle which is the exact version so select copy and paste this right here and again it is a chemical or drug so scroll down under the gene air genome we will select chemical or drug scroll down to the next the term is basilar artery dissection so for this again it is a bi biomedical term and the name is not accurately identified so select no and again here we will select isolated art basilar artery dissection which is the accurate uh, name so copy this and paste in the text right here and then uh, go under the disorder and select other because there is no category fit on this uh, text so select other sorry right here other scroll down to the next and the next term is fluorine fluorine it is a biomedical term and again it is not accurately identified so select no scroll down in the text and here I select from super tag emperor 
so cup we have to this point and face in the text field and then select again it is chemical and drug so scroll down and under the gene or genome select chemical or drug scroll down to the next it is etching so it is a biomedical term and it is accurately identified you can see right here uh, and in this we can select under the disorder sign septum or finding scroll down the next one is metatarsal so again it is a biomedical term and we have to it is not uh, accurately identified so select no scroll down to the text and select second metatarsal factor up to feature copy this and paste in the text field and select this under the disorder engine you can find this text uh, uh, this uh, term in term and these uh, texts so you have to read this for this uh, categories scroll down to the next arrival flavine transporter it is a biomedical term and for this we need uh, to select the text and it is ribo transfer mutation so select scroll down a little up to mutation copy text select no and paste the text right here and then you have to select pathology right here scroll down to the next which is 125 dihydro vitamin d3 uh, and it is a biomedical term and it is accurately identified and for this again we have to select chemical or drug uh, so find the chemical or drugs scroll down to the next and here is a dive uh, di Digraph digrammatic herina. So again, it is a biomedical term, and for this, it is accurately identified. So select yes, and here we will select under the disorder and a medical abnormality. Scroll down to the next. I think uh, it is completed right here. So we just submit. So again. So here we made a little mistake. Uh, we uh, we uh, select the wrong category to diagnostic procedure, and we select chemical and drug. So select diagnostic procedure and submit. So our task is complete right here and after this we got the exam which is this one.